Backfires can be very damaging to the engine and carburetor. Until the issue is resolved, you should never position any part of your body over the opening of the carburetor. The most common causes for backfires could be a faulty EGR valve, a bad ignition coil, fouled spark plugs, old or cracked spark plug wires, improper ignition timing, incorrect valve timing, vacuum leaks, or worn or broken valve train parts. Each of these areas should be thoroughly checked and then fixed if they're not in proper working order. If a backfire still occurs, we should now take a look at the carburetor itself. Check the choke to make sure it's not sticking or binding, which would restrict airflow to the engine. Clean the choke components if needed. If the carburetor has an electric choke, make sure it's getting a full 12 volts from a switch source and that it's fully warming up and opening completely. With the engine off, briskly open the throttle and verify a full stream of fuel is emitting from the accelerator pump discharge nozzle. For more information on how to tune the accelerator pump system, see the advanced tuning section of this video and the accelerator pump and or pump cam tuning clips. For further inspections, also check that your air cleaner or fuel filter is not clogged. Either condition would result in an overly rich or a lean condition that could cause a backfire. Make sure the bowl vents on the main body are not restricted. Vacuum leaks can cause a backfire and can be located with a leak detection fluid. If you replace the intake at the same time you installed your carburetor, verify that you don't have an intake manifold vacuum leak. A manifold leak can typically be located at the valley ends of the intake. Check all the vacuum hoses for cracks or splitting and make sure any unused vacuum ports on the carburetor are plugged up. 